Hi everyone, I'm Honeywell and this is episode 13 of The Perfect Town. And this episode is absolutely living up to its name. Um, some of our crop fields that we put in last episode um, are glitched and occasionally it's crashing the game. I think I have the solution all worked out. But just to be on the safe side, we're going to go ahead and pause the game. So that way, if the game is going to crash, um, it'll be a little later. If that does happen, if the game crashes again while I'm recording, um, what I will do is upload what I do have to YouTube, call it episode 13, and I'll go back um, to a much earlier save, try and play the town again up into this point, um, just so we can get back on track. But I think I finally have um, figured out what's happening and what's causing the crash. Um, but I won't know for sure until we actually go play that section. Okay, that is coming up in a minute. When we had left off um, the last episode, um, I had expected the firewood and stockpile issue to resolve itself um, just because we were buying so many seeds and I was stocking the, um, the one trading post with 6,000 firewood. Um, I honestly thought it would put more of a dent into what we have back here, and it hasn't. So we are going to actually take action this episode and get this fixed. I put in two stockpiles up here and we're going to um, transfer some of the stock from these piles over to there. I also lowered, no I didn't, but I will. I'm lowering our, um, our firewood limit to 6,000. Uh, which is just about what we have right now. Um, so they'll stop producing some firewood for a while while we get this all settled out. I also took a look at the barns back here and they're getting on the full side as well. Well, not this one because people actually take things from this barn. Um, but these two two barns back here must be further away and looks like nothing gets taken out of them. Um, so we're also going to be resolving this. One, I, I increased the amount of mushrooms in our food trading posts to 500. Um, mushrooms have a weight count as, have a weight of four. So so even though this stack of uh, mushrooms, uh, there's 250 mushrooms here, they're actually taking up the space of a thousand food. Um, so we want to trade, go ahead and trade away some more of those mushrooms. Um, that's going to help in the future, but in the short term, we're going to um, empty out these barns when we do the stockpiles, and we'll do that all at once. And moving on from that, I said that I wanted to put in some orchards and I went ahead and planned all of this out off camera just because it takes me a long time and these videos are already long enough. I don't think anyone wants to actually watch me plan this stuff out. If you do, uh, let me know. I have no problem recording it um, but just for the sake of trying to keep these episodes a little bit uh, shorter I went ahead and built that you'll also notice that I am destroying another cemetery I can't believe I I'm doing this but I am at least this time there's no graves in it um, basically I have a marketplace right here with a with a bunch of houses and I don't like the way 
it all looks all bunched together. So I want to move this cemetery back a couple slots, a couple spaces from the road, uh, just purely for aesthetic reasons. Because I'm crazy like that. Once we unpause the game, we'll get this all, we'll get this all up and running. Um, and we'll also go into the optimal sized orchards. I know that's a big, a big thing in the community. But here has been the cause of countless hours of headache. Um, basically what is happening right now everything is fine there is no problem everything is working the way it's supposed to we have two farm fields here and people are working them crops are growing uh, but in the very near future our workers are going to come along here and they're going to start building roads underneath these crop fields the roads are invisible, you won't be able to see them, <laughs> uh, but they're there and they'll cause these crop fields to glitch. And then and then they'll crash the game. <laughs> so what we're going to do, and I believe this, I believe doing this fixes the fixes the problem. We're going to go ahead and harvest these fields right now. And then we're going to remove them. And then we're going to let these workers uh, put in the invisible roads that they're so intent on building. And then we'll put the crop fields back in once we delete them. It was, it's actually um, similar to the problem that I had when, when I started this game. Um, I had planned out um, a lot of the town, a lot of what you, what you already see here, I had already planned all that out. Um, and even though I had all the roads deleted and everything paused when I went to start playing the game, um, all these citizens were running around building invisible roads. So I had to start over from scratch and lose all of those hours of, of gameplay. And here we are, year 36, episode 13, lucky 13. Uh, we have the same problem again. If you'll remember, um, off camera, I had deleted uh, some of the roads that we had put down because I wanted to change the position of things. And even though it let us put the crop fields and everything looked fine, um, later on the game decided it was going to build. It's going to build those deleted roads anyway. Not sure what's going on with that. But here is a word of advice. Uh, try not to save your game with with unbuilt roads if you're going to move them later on. Because the game does not like it. Okay, she's done. We're going to stop work here. We're going to delete this farm, and just for fun, we're going to use the remove road tool on this farm. And there's nothing here, right? So you would think that it would be okay to put another farm down, but that is not the case. If I rebuild a farm right now, um, when they get around to building more of these roads again, um, it's going to crash the game. I think that's what's happening. I ran through this 
um, a couple times at 10 times speed just to to see if it crashed and it didn't so I think that's that was the problem think but again if uh, if the game crashes uh, it crashes I'll upload what I have recorded and we'll call it a day okay they're done so we're gonna turn off work on this farm and delete this Again, there's no roads under here, and I know there's no roads because the farms were working properly. Um, when I first noticed a problem, uh, the farmers were, the crops were growing uh, only in patches, and workers were harvesting almost, I don't know, nothing. So we're going to go ahead and let them do their thing over here, and I will come back in a little bit. 